Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Rome 2. My name is Maarten, and we'll be playing as Rome. Rome will rule the world. It's her destiny and always has been. Claiming a line of descent back to Hercules, Romans are not lacking in civil pride. Romans are not lacking in fierceness. Their city was founded by Romulus and Remus, twins raised by a wolf. Their armies may have been beaten, but they have always dragged themselves back into any fight and battled on. And now surrounded by rivals and potential enemies, Rome faces challenges at every turn. He who rules in Rome can rule the world, but only through the glory of conquest. Conquest. Okay, so let's choose a faction. The Julii looked like fun because they have this plus four to cultural conversion. Uh, it's easier as at the beginning as you settle. Um, yeah, they have this this penalty, but I think we won't notice much of it since we have the cultural conversion bonus. We'll be playing at legendary, so let's do this. I've played uh, a Let's Play before of Rome. It was with Macedon. Um, I played right after release. Uh, since they released patch 2.0, the AI has vastly improved. So I found myself in in a very bad situation. So, with the advent of the beta patch for 3.0, I have regained faith in the campaign. A lot of bugs have been removed, like the Onegar ships that won't reinforce. Um, greatly improved AI. And I've learned a lot, of course. So let's do this. You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. Babao. Let's start with a battle. Ready for battle. Babao. And we'll get into the UI once we've we taken take the lottery. For Rome. Oh, the enemies sallies out to fight on the field. Yeah, it's an option that came out with patch 3.0. So we won't be fighting in a city now. I don't see the advantages of it. I think I wouldn't Sally, given the choice. The, the streets give you this um, disadvantage. Rain. Yeah, let's not do it. Better. So the right side of the map has the advantage of the slope, so we'll take it. Oop. Yep, resume. As you can see, you can manage your troops while in pause, if you play it legendary. It's a luxury that shouldn't be there, but uh, let's try it out. Resume back. Oh. And resume. Game paused. Okay. Let's try setup. Yes, we can. 
But let's not exploit the bug. Yeah, they did a few things to uh, enhance the graphics. The frames per second have vastly improved as well. Uh, this doesn't look like Dungeon Keeper anymore, so that's a positive. For you who don't know Dungeon Keeper, it was a Peter Molyneux game in the 90s. Uh, it looked good then like um, 15 years ago or so. Move you man. Nice skirts. Okay, so I'm gonna try to lure his main army by sending in some levees because these guys are expendable. Yep, they're attacking. Victory for Rome! Marching order! LA infantry ready! March! Heavies! Come on, hurry. Faster! Reload! run. You guys run as well. Let's try to do, make a big front and have the other unit charge from the flanks. Where's the general? Oh, levies! Are wavering. Stop wavering. Information is this. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, but it's working. These guys are protecting themselves from the arrows. It should leave them wide open to my troops. Oh. Yeah, my Hastati lost a lot of men. Could be because their formation looks really crappy. Yeah, let's continue. Look 
Lucius Lebo. Yeah, you guys are all, all gonna be slaves. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Quit. Yeah, I took some losses. Hey, I killed like 200 men. That's more than I lost with one unit of Astati. And that's pretty good. They'll replenish real quick anyway. I'll be fighting a lot with uh, Lucius Libo. Once we're done loading, I'm gonna tell you why. Mm. Let's occupy. Waiting for orders. We hunger for battle. Let's see. Plus one public order. Yeah, that's okay. With that nutritional losses. Let's go for authority. Trade games. Yeah, siege expert. Okay. Um, why Lucius Libo? Well, as you see, there are several houses. Secure promotion. Uh, there are several houses. Um, the Julia, Cornelia and Junia. I'm playing with the Julia and I already have quite some influence. That's pretty good. Must be because I won the last battle. Um, well, here's Lucius Julius Libo. The guy that just went and got Rome a victory. Here we have G. Cornelius Scipio. Get to it, men. He'll be providing some public order. I'm not gonna fight here at the moment. Oh, he's pretty good. And this yes. admiral here is Junius Brutus. Well, if I'm gonna fight with uh, a guy from Cornelia, he'll gain. Uh, Gravitas, I think, which will give him more influence in the Senate. Having influence influence in the Senate will give me some bonuses, I think. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, I didn't have a civil war in the game as of yet. I'm sure we'll have one in the upcoming future. I'm gonna go for military development okay but um, gaining gaining control over the Senate having influence in the political system will make the other houses suspicious of you and once you get powerful enough a civil war will ensue um, I heard it is brutal so I'm quite curious, really. It is an honor to serve Rome. Making for port. Yeah, I'm gonna go yes. for military development, especially um, for the sea, since we'll be fighting across the Mediterranean pretty soon, as is uh, somewhat historically accurate. Once control over Italia is gained, uh, the Second Punic War. The or the first Punic War breaks out 
against Carthage. So we're going to be destroying some Cartesians. Commander. Let's upgrade the army a bit. Check if anybody wants to trade. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because you're. Nah. Let's do it in a couple of turns. I think the AI is more complacent. Once um, a few turns road. are spent, I have no idea why that should be the case, but uh, I think it is. Okay, let's upgrade some cities. And we'll start with Rome, of course. Yeah, this is going to provide some public order in the near future. This is going to give 5% uh, unit morale. So let's do that as well. Uh, oh wait, I'll expand the city first before my money is out. Okay, before I'm out of money. Um, I think this is it. Let's see what else to do. Can I support more armies? Yes, I can. Race force. Yeah, he's kind of good. From the house of Cornelia. He's from the Julia. Yeah, let's let's pick him. He has some zeal, so he's gonna be a Commander. a warrior, I guess. And let's and turn. I learned a few things about uh, province management. We come to you in Just strength to speak. Nah, let's not. I've learned a few things about uh, unit management. Or, or I mean province management uh, once you complete the chain of any type of building most will give public order penalties so we're gonna have to find a counter to it uh, and I think we can get it through the Colosseum which I'll be building and a Pantheon in Italia Ready for orders. We hunger for battle. You have further orders? Yeah, I'm gonna get there next turn. Let's recruit some more units. Soldiering. It's a good life. And let's disband those levees. They only cost money. They're not too useful. Um. Oh yeah, this province can upgrade. Let's make some food. Veneti. Yeah, I'm gonna check up on them later. See if they want to trade. My spy just went level up. Let's see. Let's go for um, let's go for cunning. It's a spy specialty, so let's do it. At once. Yeah, army overview. Let them count. Will escape. No, they won't. Oh, no. Nope. 
it'll be my second legion, Apollinaris, against the Hammers of Setlans. I have no idea what Setlans is, but they will be obliterated. Gonna move in from the side. Astati. Astati. By all the gods of the sea. Let's see. The feelites had a feeling to improve over the original setup. Thanks for the input mates. Hmm. So this is something to do at last moment notice or I'm gonna send up a troop put battle rhythm on him and pull him back once he's getting exerted let's see experiment spearman the skirmishers are over there it looks like I can take them with the cavalry So let's do it. A mob. <laughs> Brutal. Nice one. Our general is under attack. Yeah, he's sending up some calf to counter Commander. my general's awesome charge. Marching order. Yeah, let's go for this. General. Just scatter already, man. You guys are done for. Yeah, he'll be a good one for the battle rhythm. It means I can't use this particular Hastati unit anymore because he'll be exhausted. Okay, so this is going nice and smooth. Legatus. Let's inspire those felites. Wait, 
Philly days. Okay. Nice having a pronunciation check. Missile infantry your at your command. Yeah, this is going very smoothly. Really easy. Let's burn Remember the bitches. Fire. Cavalry charge. Double time, ready. A starting. Let's speed. Super Jack gives us strength. Take aim. Oh no, they thought better of it. Let's not burn them anyway. It's bad for the accuracy. Yeah, I'm kind of missing the fire at will on the Hastadi. They used to have it in uh, Rome 1. Wait, they're offering their calf. And I don't have the units to counter the calf, so... This is a nice opportunity. Oh, <laughs> that guy got launched of his horse. Oh, it was the horse that was launched. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is going uh, really easy. Killed 25 man already. Is battle rhythm also good for weapon the damage? Is dead. Oh, nice. Okay, so the cat recuperated. But their general is dead. Should give them a huge morale penalty. At speed! Mars and now! Reload with haste! Fire! What are you doing? Oh yeah, it's working. But I'm almost out of arrows though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh we <laughs> false alarm. Okay, get back here. I'm not trusting this anymore. March! Jupiter gives us strength! Double time! Follow me! Faster! Reload! Proud Romans all! At speed! Advance at speed! Double time! Attacking the battle is turning in our favor! At 
at your command. Astarte! Double time! Jupiter gives us strength! Oh. Delite! Orders! Your orders! Stop firing as well. Romans ready for duty! Melee infantry ready! Jupiter gives us strength! General! By your command. Commander! Come for glory! Legions. Oh, they still had some uh, skirmishers left. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Fighters, on me! Advance at speed! Quickly, now! For honor and glory! Survivors at the double! Yeah, minimal losses. Did one quite well. Okay, we had a yeah, but can we get a strategy map? Yeah! Occupy. Waiting for orders. And we have a military tradition, which is, of course, going to be on melee by all missile by all melee units nice I already have a plus 5 bonus on sword units so it's a total of plus 8 but that's not bad to begin with uh, amphitheater and a shrine of mars yep Okay, so here we have another field of Mars. I'm not sure if I can use it. I think I'll convert it. But I'll do it later. I'm not gonna do it now. Okay, so. As we have conquered Italia, we can issue a provincial edict. It's gonna be bread and games. Minus 10% wealth generated by culture. Why would that be? I don't know. Let's choose the bread and games. So, with uh, with the conquest of Italia, we end uh, the first episode of our Let's Play. I'll hope to see you next turn when we'll be expanding across the Mediterranean.